Hi, I'm Josh Hansen, number 15 of the Chilliwack Chiefs. Fraser Valley Distant Education School is one of the largest online schools in BC. FVDES currently has over 3,000 students taking BC curriculum at the elementary and high school levels. To find out more about this interesting way to do school, visit their website at www.fvdes.com. Not out, it's kept on side by Brody Klaus. Into the corner, quick centering pass, they score. Bang, bang play right in front, finishing it off with Zach Funk. Funk was fed by Zach Bowles. Bulldogs kept the puck on side. Zach Funk has the goal, his sixth of the year, and the Bulldogs have opened up a 2 0 lead, not even halfway through the first period. Roche, Hunter Stewart's in there. Shaleron comes up with the puck in his own zone, clears to the line, not out, shot towards the goal, they score on the rebound. Trick Strand, side of the net. 52 seconds into the period. The Bulldogs have scored again. It's a 3-0. Alberni lead as the Chiefs couldn't clear around the boards. Yeah, and if you uh, if you measured out Trick Strand's goals, that one was scored from about 6 inches out, and the other one was about 12. 3 to nothing. Chiefs back to center. Zach Tony over the Bulldog line into the high slot. Gober across. Plevy scores. Austin Plevy. One minute and 30 seconds after the 3 nothing goal. Austin Plevy's on the board, his third of the year. Nice three-way passing play. Gober found the captain's side of the net. The Chiefs have cut it to 3-1. That was blocked. Ben Butcher's out the other way to center for the Chiefs. Three on two. Butcher left side over the Alberni line with it. Floats it across. Stopped by Lacoube. Rebound. They jam away. They score. The red light is on. And Jake Hand is the first one back to the bench cam. I think this will be Jake's goal. It's a 3-2 hockey game. Yeah, Ben Butcher just floated that in front to Matthew Tibbet. He got a stick on it, but got to give credit to Jake Hand, who just stopped in front of the net. You tell every kid at every level to do it. Jake Hand stops in front of the net. Now behind the net for Strand. Drake Strand in the left corner. Bulldogs in the power play for another 47 seconds. Klaus right point. Slap shot stopped by Stan with big rebound. He scores. Another rebound goal for the Bulldogs. A massive one. Hunter Stewart shovels it in. He had a wide open net. That's three goals for the Bulldogs on rebounds tonight. Power play goal for the Dogs. It's a 4-2 Alberni lead. Another save is made, and the Bulldogs get it out to center. Stewart hauled down by Zach Diamantoni. No call. Blake Gober now centers. Plenty to the net. Scores! Austin Plenty! Off a broken play, Blake Gober took a hit, made the nice pass to Austin Plevy. The captain has got his second of the hockey game, and it's 4-3 Alberni Valley with 29 seconds to go in the second. Stewart gains the red line, dumps the puck in left corner. Kiefer McNaughton turning for it. So is Andrew Szilard behind his own net, lost it. Stewart centers, they score. Justin Georgeson, another bad turnover for the Chiefs behind their net. And the Bulldogs take advantage. They reopen a two-goal lead. It's 5-3. Justin Georgeson all alone in front of the net. Both Kiefer McNaught and Cooper Rush were behind their uh, the goal line. And a, a nice pass. I didn't catch the number. Between the legs, no look pass to uh, Justin Georgeson, who was out in front of Lyndon Stanwood all by himself. Left point, Diamantoni holds the line, does a great job right in front. Plevy the tip, he scores with the rebound. Austin Plevy has got the hat trick. And the Chiefs are alive. It's 5-4. With 11.26 to go in the third period. Good job by Zach Diamantoni to keep it on side. Kim. Excellent job by Zach Diamantoni. He didn't give up and he turned around and saw that Plevy was all by himself behind two chief defensemen, or sorry, but behind two Alberni Valley defensemen. And I don't think he got, he got a tip on the deflection, but then it came right back on his stick. And I wish I had a hat to throw, Mark, but I didn't bring any today. Butcher almost lost it again along the wall. Coming out with it is Bowles. Butcher took a hit up high. Buck in behind the net. Or centers right in front. They score. Breakdown for the Chiefs. And cashing in is Zach Bowles in front of the net. 
It got started. Ben Butcher couldn't clear. Chiefs are running around in their own zone, and the Dogs once again have restored a two-goal lead. It's six to four. Rush through it to the front of the goal off a of body, rolled into the high slot, but Mitchell Plovey able to scoop it up. Matthew Tibbet right side into the Bulldog zone. Rush shot, big rebound. They score. Carter Cochran. Counter attack back the other way for the Chiefs. Matthew Tibbet gets the shot away. I think it hit the pillows, Cam. That's what you always talk about. Carter Cochran on the rebound is seventh. It is now 6 5, Alberni Valley, with six and a half minutes to go. And that was a pillow pass. Matthew Tibbet was doing nothing else than just putting that into the pillows. And nobody likes scoring. Maybe Alex Ovechkin likes scoring more than Carter Cochran. He loves to score. He, he likes to jump into the glass like Ovechkin, too. And that time he almost jumped over the glass into the stands. Call it icing. Jake Hand on the face off, wanted to the boards. Tibbet, weak pass back to the left point, poked out to center as Roberts was pinching. Here come the dogs, two on one. Harlan Orr, right side of Rashad, he scores. Harlan Orr goes five hole on Lyndon Stanwood with two minutes and 10 seconds to go. A play we've seen so many times, Cam. It's so simple in hockey. Defenseman stepping up to make the pinch. The puck gets chipped out. Harlan Orr takes advantage. He beats Stanwood to the five hole, and the Bulldogs take a two goal lead with 2.10 left in the hockey game. By click, and Stanwood heads to the bench for the extra attacker. Plevy, deep along the boards, got hit. Went a little awkwardly into the end wall. He's slow to get up. Dogs lob it out to center. Hunter Stewart's got a step on Carter Cochran into the Chilliwack zone. He hits the empty net. Hunter Stewart makes it 8-5 to five with 95 seconds to go. And now frustration's boiling over as Dan and Tony knock down Justin Georgeson. After the goal, so Diam and Tony will take a late penalty here. With a minute 35 left, an 8-5 to five Bulldogs lead. Hunter Stewart has his second goal of the hockey game, I believe. I'd have to check all of that. We've had 13 here tonight. Bulldogs pick up their fifth win of the year and their second on this road trip. Give some credit to Kevin Willison's club for coming in here and getting a win.